This morning, the jury in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial will resume deliberations for the fourth straight day. The 18-year-old is on trial for killing two men and wounding a third during a turbulent night of protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin last year. Now, Rittenhouse claims he acted in self-defense, while the prosecution argues he provoked violence. Our Kelsey Kernstein is live with the latest on how residents in Kenosha are bracing for the verdict. Kelsey. Well, Adrian, everyone's really just waiting for what is to come. Day three ended yesterday. Still no conclusion, no verdict. Inside the courthouse, you can see both the defense and the prosecution waiting in high anticipation for the verdict of the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. And outside of the courthouse steps, still dozens of protesters, highly divided, but probably the most notable moment of the day was the judge banning MSNBC from the Kenosha County Courthouse. I have instructed that no one from MSNBC News will be permitted in this building for the duration of this trial. MSNBC under fire this morning. Kenosha police say they briefly detained a producer who followed the jury bus and may have tried to photograph the jurors. He was following at a distance of about a, a block and uh, went through a red light. Someone who was following uh, the jury bus, uh, that is a very, ex it's extremely serious matter. NBC News saying in a statement that the producer is a freelancer who quote never photographed or intended to photograph them. That needs to be investigated thoroughly because that is a major major deal if a media organization was following the jury bus for what purposes? Outside the courthouse as rival groups of pro and anti Rittenhouse protesters gathered. Police made at least one arrest Thursday as fears of backlash from the upcoming verdict caused some Kenosha schools to temporarily move into full virtual learning out of safety for the students. Kenosha County sheriffs showing up with coffee and cookies in an attempt to reduce tension. So everybody we're here we're supporting we're here to protect. We're, we're, uh, we're all part of the same team here today. And in just the next few hours, day four of deliberations will begin. And if convicted, Kyle still could face life in prison, although his attorneys have filed for a mistrial. They, I can confirm that. I've spoken to, to them. They have filed for that mistrial. And that would still have to be sorted out, Adrian. All right, Kelsey, we'll await that word. Thank you. News Nation will be monitoring the Rittenhouse trial all day as the jury deliberates. Once there's a verdict, we will stream that decision live on our app. So zoom your phone camera, go to the actual screen. Uh, right now you can actually see that QR code at the corner of your screen. You know how to use these. They use them at restaurants now for the menus. Hold your phone up with the camera and you can get the latest updates on the Rittenhouse trial and other breaking news stories. Meantime, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.